Hey, aloha and good morning on an absolutely freaking gorgeous day here in Kona. Uh, the sun's just coming up and I'll tell you what, this is going to be a beauty and I plan to milk all the awesomeness out of it that I possibly can. I want to share with you today a thought that is very painful for a lot of people and it has been literally nearly devastating in my own life until I woke up to it and began to process through and find out what it's really all about. And I'm telling you, this is a big, big challenge in the world today and is the idea of jealousy. Jealousy can take millions of forms and it can be absolutely devastating. We don't know how many murders happen every year where jealousy is at the root of it. How many marriages, how many relationships that come apart needlessly because of jealousy how many suicides, okay? How many divorces and how many children that go through broken homes because of simple jealousy? And what I wanna offer to you, this is gonna be very controversial, and guess what? My life is controversial. I believe life is amazing and extreme, and I welcome everything about it. So this is gonna probably get some comments <laughs> and some feedback from several people, okay? That's great, I welcome it, including the arguments. Let's, let's get this conversation going, because I believe it's time that we talk about it, okay? The fact is that this universe, as you hear me say often, this universe is infinite, unlimited, eternal energy that has no preference. If you wanna say it has one preference, it is to live and expand. That's what energy does. Everything in this universe is made out of that energy, okay? These gorgeous coconut and palm trees surrounding me, this amazing, beautiful surf, the huge, gorgeous cruise ship full of happy people right here behind me, the fishing boats and the fish and everything going on in this world, including my body and this video camera is energy. There's nothing physical whatsoever. And all of our ideas, therefore, about good and bad and right and wrong, do, do, is energy good or bad? Is energy right and wrong? These are ideas that came to us through governmental programming and religion and nothing else. And when we talk about relationships, let's understand that you and your lover, your, your husband, your wife, your spouse, your partner, whatever they are, you and they are energy as well. And your ideas about that other are bullshit. Your beliefs, your fears, your limitations. So when you go down to the core of jealousy, what does it say? It says, I can be a victim and I can be hurt and I must have things go a certain way in order for me to be safe. I need for her to do something different for me to be safe. Now, step away from it for a moment and don't make it you and don't make it her, don't make it you and him, don't make it you and them, whatever your situation may be, do you need anyone to do anything different in order for you to be safe? Is that true? Of course not. So what if you could say, I release you to follow your bliss. And if it's being with me, and I want to as well, beautiful. I am going to be in my business. I'm gonna be in my bliss. I'm gonna be pursuing that which is right for me. And the day that I realize, wow, I'm, I'm not enjoying this anymore. I can come to you and I can communicate what I prefer, but if we prefer something different, wouldn't we be happier moving on? And this is where I'm gonna be completely controversial with you. I believed all my life in marriage till death do us part. I didn't do worth a damn at it. But I believed it. Till death. Thank you for coming around the corner there, beautiful son. I welcome you too. Thank you. But I'm not attached. I don't need you to do anything specific for me. Marriage being for life. My friends, if you go back just a couple thousand years, the idea didn't even exist. It's incredibly profitable. And it creates a a place of insanity inside of nearly every one of us. Be honest with yourself. Have you ever, let's, let's say you fully subscribe to this marriage for life thing. Have you ever wanted to cheat? Have you ever been attracted to another person? Oh, but it's wrong. Really, is it, is it wrong? Or is that programming as well? 
We're infinite, unlimited energy. Am I advocating that you change? Not at all. I'm advocating the idea that you might want to open up and relax. Because the jealousy, when we experience pain in our lives, that pain is telling us that we're thinking something that is not in alignment with who we are. You'll find a lot more about that on other videos. Pain is indicating to us that we're thinking something that's not in alignment with who we are. And jealousy is one of the most deep, agonizing pains. It is pernicious. It is insidious. And it leads us to think and do and say things in the attempt to control another, which creates even more pain for us and them. So I offer to you today, the next time, and if it's there now, if there's any jealousy that's available to you right now as you think about your partner, as you think about whatever's going on in your life or what could happen, that you could feel any discomfort, I offer this to you. And I've done it, and I'm going to tell you, it is an incredible miracle. Write out this, get, grab a piece of paper, and across the top, I want you to write, what is great about this jealousy? What's great about it? And if your partner is in the position of going and cheating, or preparing to cheat, or they're leaving you, or you're thinking about leaving, or you're thinking about having an affair, whatever is going on in your life, and you look at the pain, you look at, uh, uh, ask yourself, what could be great about this? If you will follow through and if you will bring your heart and your mind and your spirit to bear on that piece of paper as you map this out completely, you are going to have a series of insights. Your story about jealousy and the programming, uh, programming of jealousy into you is going to begin to fall apart with clumps of dust showing you what an illusion this was the entire time. And that dust, when it clears, and you see what you really are, and you see the relationships that you actually want to have independent of the programming that led to the unnecessary jealousy, you're going to find yourself in a place of freedom and potential joy and happiness to where your relationships take on an entirely new dimension. And please understand, I'm speaking from experience. I hope this video blesses you and at least cracks the doorway open for you in leaving this energy of jealousy behind. I'm telling you, it's been one of the greatest miracles in my entire life. I love you with all my heart. Namaste, beautiful one.